r slash am i the a-hole am i the a-hole for turning in my parents for owning illegal firearms context i recently lost my job and parents practically begged me back to live with them while i planned the next steps in life i wanted to go back to school and pursue a master's degree but when i got back it was clear they had other plans i'm ace but they were convinced i'm gay and were going to force me into conversion therapy through the church When I refused they kicked me out less than 4 days later, including the weekend. My parents had the police wake me up and evict me, living in motels until I find an apartment. They are withholding all of my possessions and specifically said they would damage my PC. I'm arranging a police escort when I show up with a U-Haul as I wouldn't feel safe going there alone or with just a friend. And the majority of my family doesn't speak to me. Am I the a-hole for telling the police in advance about my dad's stash of illegal firearms, including handguns? We are in Canada. Edited to remove duplicate word. NTA. You are ensuring that the police are aware that they may be in danger from the firearms. As for your parents, if you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Yeah and if anyone's in danger, it's always better to be safe than sorry. NTA holy shit, if they're making threats over you being ace and trying to force you into conversion therapy, they are not stable and should not have guns. You could be saving someone's life, if you need a police escort to reclaim your things from them. They are not rational people and probably incapable of being responsible gun owners. Also, duck them for being homophobic a-holes. Well, we know they're incapable of being responsible gun owners. Cause responsible gun owners don't have a stash of illegal guns. The police need to know what they're walking into. Also duck them. They sound like truly awful people. NTA what they did is illegal and immoral and they should be thrown in jail for how they treated you. Which is why it is fake. It takes a month or more to evict someone in Canada. Not 4 days. The police know that it is a civil matter not criminal and wouldn't force you out of the home. That's why squatters are a problem. Uh, this has got to be a shit post. The police can't evict you like that this quickly. This doesn't make any sense. The police can't evict you like that this quickly. This doesn't make any sense. OP was at their parents house so highly unlikely he had a lease agreement between them meaning they can tell the cops he is trespassing and can be removed. If he had a lease agreement then OP would have 30 days to vacate. It a for shit pusting. Police can't just wake you up and evict you without warning. If any of this is true, there are major details missing. This. Itta. I'm voting it a purely on my feeling that this is a shit post. Parents hate the gays? Check. Parents try to force conversion therapy? Check. Parents somehow convinced law enforcement to evict in the middle of the night? This would never happen. Check. These people now also have illegal guns, but of course they do. Also. There's no way on earth OP thinks he might be Tay. No one in their right mind could think there's a moral question when you need to bring the police to retrieve your belongings. And you warn the police that they might have to deal with someone armed. It's got to be a shit post. NTA. Also, it sounds like you've got a good and workable, albeit still slightly dangerous, plan of recovery from this nonsense. Good luck. This whole sub is trash now but this shit post is particularly unbelievable and dumb. NTA police response when there are possible firearms in the home is very different and they need to know what they are walking into. What says? NTA. He does not have permission to own them in the first place. And I can understand your concern about your safety. Seeing how mental they already prove themselves to be. Getting those weapons confiscated prevents your father from potentially using them against you in the first place. Am I the a-hole for donating to my sister's adoption fund but not my other sister's IVF fund? I have two sisters. One adopted her kids through the Chinese special needs adoption program. The other is trying to use IVF to get pregnant. When my older sister was in the process of adopting her two kids, we fundraised and donated money to them. She and her husband did things like made bracelets, t-shirts, etc to sell in order to raise money for their expensive adoption. My younger sister now has a GoFundMe set up for IVF treatments. She texted me the link. I ignored her. She texted it again so I said just being honest. I'm probably not gonna donate. She then went on a long rant about how bad she wants to be a mom and it will never happen no one wants to donate. 
I said I just didn't have spare cash at the moment to be donating to that type of thing. She then questioned how I had money to donate to our older sister and mentioned that I put a ton of work into fundraising for them but I haven't offered to help her fundraise for her IVF once. I explained to her that IVF isn't something people usually fundraise for but she said she's loads of people do it so there was no convincing her otherwise. I just feel like that's way different than donating money to my older sister who adopted kids with special needs, you know? NTA helping a special needs child get out of an orphanage is not the same as wanting IVF treatments for a chance at having your own child. Not saying one is better than the other, but you can't say they are the same. OP is not an a-hole for choosing how they donate their money. Sister is not Tay for asking. She wasn't Tay for asking, but her response is what made her Tay. She's being rude and entitled and needs to know when to take no for an answer. NTA. Unlike a lot of other commenters, I do think IVF is less worthy than adoption. I agree. It seems obvious to me that kids that already exist deserve assistance more than people who want to have kids. No way holes here. Don't want to donate. Don't donate. But you're playing favorites here in a way that is gonna hurt your family relationships. At base both your sisters want kids. But found different ways to pursue that life goal. You heavily supported one sister. Then basically ignored and rebuffed the other sister. You can do what you want with your time and money. But don't expect your younger sister to ignore the lack of support and moralizing you're doing now. And she's well within her rights to decide how that shapes her relationship with you. Itter. Mainly for your reaction to your sister and reasoning. Both of your sisters are, presumably, unable to get pregnant naturally. Both have chosen the ways that work for them to become parents. Itter alone for just ignoring your sister's messages and being so short with her. Which seems to show a complete lack of empathy for you sibling being in an incredibly difficult and upsetting situation. Even if you were financially unable to help, there are kinda ways to say it. I don't understand your reasoning for supporting one sister over another. And it effectively just seems to be saying that you find your older sister's choices worthier and her children more important. So it's not surprising your other sister is upset. Itter for the way you handle this. Ignoring her messages then sending a flippant tbh probably not gonna donate was uncalled for when you could have taken 30 seconds out of your day to say really support your journey but with other sister I was donating to support the costs associated with a special needs kid which are higher than normal kids or whatever weird reasoning you have I think your reasoning makes you take two but less so because you can choose to spend your money wherever you want to spend it. If the primary reason for not donating is that you don't have the money, NTA. If the primary reason is because you think your older sister's path to having children is somehow more important, itter. Itter. Adoption's not really a thing people usually fundraiser for either. Do or don't donate. It's your money. But just be honest about the reason. Whatever the reason is. Itter. You can do what you want with your money obviously but IVF is very expensive and tons of people crowdfund for it. It's heartbreaking to want to be a parent but be unable to afford the treatment you need. You're acting like your sister who adopted is somehow a better person. Which is bullshit. She just made a different decision about how to build her family. NTA. You never have to give money for this stuff. Just say sister one adopted special needs kids which is different from IVF. If she can't understand that it's on her. Itter. The tone of this post is disgustingly judgmental. You've decided your sister is more worthy cause she's adopting a kid rather than trying to give birth to one? Who are you to make that kind of judgment call? I'm flabbergasted by the votes on this post. Info. Would you have donated time and money to your older sister if she adopted children without special needs? Was your motivation because of their special needs or because of the cost of adoption and your views on adoption versus IVF? NTA. As donor conceived person I have mixed feelings on fertility treatments. But it's not your job to help her pay to create a baby. Adoption is different and children need homes etc. Why does she not look into adoption if she so badly wants a child? Itter but only for your reasoning. If you didn't have money to donate fine. But they both are trying to start families in the way that makes the most sense to them. Adoption is admirable, but both methods require a lot of funds. The end result will be you having a niece nephew. It shouldn't matter how. As I said, 
IVF requires a ton of cash. It isn't some taboo thing to fundraise for. Itta, let me first say, I fully believe you have the right to donate your money where you want it. However, I do think it's kind of shitty to be very involved with helping one sister start a family with donating and doing other things to help her raise money, and not even donating some money to the other sisters. The end result is they are both trying to get a child, just going about it in different ways. I know it's not the same, but it's why if I have multiple friends raising money for a 5k or something, I'll donate something to all of them, and not a bunch to one and tell the other sorry, I'm broke. It really just make you look like you care a lot more about one sister's desire for a family and not as much about the others. Itta, I'm going against the grain and saying that adopting a child from overseas is not a more noble cause. We are finding more and more that those children are not selected from orphanages, but are actually kidnapped and sold for a profit through international adoption agencies. These instances of child trafficking are rampant and are often referred to as manufactured orphans. So, yep, you supporting a possible kidnapping is not a better use of funds than IVF. You are being a holier than thou a hole when you have no high ground to stand on. NTA, I would have done the same thing. Your older sister was trying to give actual, existing children a much needed loving home. That's something worth fundraising for a mo. Am I the a-hole for refusing to meet my half-sister who was a result of my dad's affair? Mom and pops were married for 30-ish years. I'm 26. Always thought they were a dream couple until 5 years ago when I found out that my dad had fathered a child from an affair that he had in 2006. My mom went batshit crazy when she found out. I honestly believe her mental health cracked and deteriorated from then and she divorced my dad and moved to the other side of the US. Essentially, I lost my mom to my dad's idiocy. She is not the same woman as she used to be. My dad had always been in this girl's life. But over the past 5 years I guess because he had no one to keep it a secret from he's more or less a full time dad to her. Since the divorce I've kept my distance from him. I'm just trying to secure my bag. Live quietly and stay away from drama. He has lately started up this crusade of me meeting this girl and developing a brotherly bond with her. I told him it's just not on the cards. I have no interest in picking up a relationship with anybody and I have my own hatred for my father's new family and I DC what anyone says. Therapy ain't fixing that. Believe me, I've tried. It's better for my mental health if I continue to do my thing and not involve myself. It's got to a point where everyone on my paternal side is bugging me for some sort of Christmas miracle meetup. Apparently this girl wants to know me very much and is begging that she gets to meet me as a Christmas present. I've consistently told everybody no and I'm also not celebrating Christmas with them in case they try force anything. The only person on my side in all this is my fiancé, who is the only one who gives a shit about what hurt this might cause me instead of anything else. Just wondering if I are to for shutting everybody down over this. NTA, you are a whole human with needs and desires they aren't respecting. And you don't owe your dad or his family anything but basic human dignity. If they're hounding you instead of respecting your boundaries, keep on enforcing your boundaries. You're not the R for that. They definitely are. Sure, it might be nice for them if you let them have their fantasy of a perfect happy family. But you aren't an R for not wanting to sacrifice so much of your emotional well-being to facilitate that and sweep all the wrongs under the rug. NTA, you said it yourself. It's better for my mental health if I continue to do my thing and not involve myself. Essentially, I lost my mom to my dad's idiocy. She is not the same woman as she used to be. Your dad's action ruined your mom. And seeing this child sounds like it'd remind you of this. You're under no obligation to meet her if you don't want to. NTA, you need to do what's best for you. I can understand the possibility that your half-sister may be interested in connecting with her family but that's on your dad for creating the situation in the first place, not you. I wouldn't recommend permanently closing the door as there may come a time when you do want to meet her. But until then it's okay to be clear that you're not ready. Another possibility to consider is that, if your issue is mainly with your father and the woman he had an affair with, you could consider arranging to meet your half-sister away from her family. That way your dad doesn't get any ideas about you becoming part of a big happy family. NTA, the a-hole being your cheater of a dad. I don't blame you for avoiding your dad or his new family. 
You're not an a-hole for that. I don't blame the girl for wanting a relationship with you. If that's true, she's not an a-hole for that. But at the same time you have no obligation to that and your own mental health is important. And I'll hazard a guess that if you were to develop a relationship with her, it's a roundabout way for your dad to try to rebuild a relationship with you. Messy situation. NTA for basic fact that your father actions towards you and your mother tainted the relationship to your half sister so much that it is better for your own well-being not to meet her. Your dad's enablers are not helping the situation by bothering you about it and if they dare spring her on you on Christmas, you have as much right to cut them out your life like your mom did to your father. NTA, an ex of mine was in your exact situation. So I can sort of speak to this from the perspective of someone who really loved and cared for only the person in your situation and didn't have complicated family dynamics clouding judgement. You have no duty to meet this girl. My ex found out about his little sister, his dad's secret family, when he was only a young kid, because the mom of the secret kid threatened to show up on their doorstep and introduce them, and it ducked him up. Every time his dad had been away on business for Christmas, every time he had missed something important because he was at work, all of it was questioned. He grew up constantly feeling like he wasn't enough for his dad because he went and had this other secret family instead, and his half-sister was smart and looked just like his dad. And his dad would brag about her in a way that my ex didn't feel like his dad talked about him. It even led my ex to put on fronts with other people, to feel like he had to impress them, because he never felt he was good enough. My ex's mom apparently separated from the dad but got back together with him. She comes from a very traditional Greek Orthodox family and I can't help but think that had something to do with it. And by the time I knew her, the effects this had on her were palpable. So unsure of herself. So protective and doting of her son. Honestly she was such a nice woman but just sort of sad. Like something had broken her. My ex never met his sister again after that forced meeting when they were little and I never ever even suggested to him that he should. It truly would have messed him up so much worse than he already was. He never blamed the kid, but she was just the absolute embodiment of his dad abandoning him and choosing someone else over him and his mom. It's not that it was her fault, it's just what she represented. That's such a painful thing to face. Of course it's a little different when you find out as an adult and don't grow up with the inferiority complex that my ex did, but I completely understand where you are coming from. It would be extremely hard to set aside all of these feelings and meet this little girl that represents, unfairly, your own family being torn apart. Your dad is the a-hole not only for cheating, but for telling his daughter that she had a brother at such a young age. She isn't going to understand why you can't meet her. That's so messed up for him to do. Obviously keeping more secrets to more children isn't super, but come on, at the very least he could have asked you respected when you said no, and then told his daughter about you in a way that made it clear you won't be meeting. Ro, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content more it's free and that's a great price, 